What's up guys, Tavern here, back again with the finale episode of Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw. So in the last video, we took care of Killabilly and now we're inside his body, so now what we're going to do is head forward through this section and go ahead and put an end to all this nonsense once and for all and close that portal from Rotten World over to Earth. Of course, we got a little quick time section that we need to take care of before everything is all said and done. And after this, I'll be quiet for the rest of the video until the ending credits. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will be back with you in a little bit. So, enjoy! Are you there? Sensei? That's his core. Listen carefully. This is your final lesson. Killabilly is a mountain of tainted flesh, held together by evil spirits. You have to send a signal from its core, commanding it to self-destruct. Once the body is destroyed, all of the captured souls will be sent back to Rotten World. Take control of his core and make him destroy himself. How? By detonating a Nick bomb. A oh, what? Like you have throughout this battle, you must connect Nick's head to Swamp's body. But what will happen to Nick? I am so sorry. As Nick would die. But perhaps... Sensei? I can't hear you! You were right all along, Juliet. There's a reason I'm here. There's a plan greater than all of us. But it's time to say goodbye. Put me there and make the bomb. What? You need to put me on Swan's body. It's the only way to stop him. Nick, no! He said you'll die! Juliet, it's okay. I feel strong for the first time in my life. I feel lucky to have been on this journey with you and your family and... I feel like a zombie hunter. I can't, Nick. I don't want to be without you. I know, baby. But sometimes there are more important things than what we want in life. <laughs> Nick. I love you too, baby. More than anything. No! I love you, baby. Nick! Nick! Yes, son. Because of your honor and sacrifice, the Mad Feast has come to an end. You have truly been a hero. The Glorious Ones have chosen to bless you with a reward. But unfortunately, in the shuffling of this death and that death, this body and that, there was a small mix-up. Uh, uh, a mix-up? I will be watching you from above. So please, in my memory, have Juliet do plenty of cartwheels while wearing those little white panties with the teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Juliet? Nick! Juliet! The mix-up. I've got Morikawa's body. Well, uh... What the hell, I guess. Hey, face suckers! Up here! Daddy, you're okay! Yep. I think I lost a testy in the blast, but what the hell? You only need one. Looking great, sir. We best hurry. Your mama's gonna be worried. Daddy, don't you think you should go to the hospital? Not necessary. I used a staple gun up there to put the old stroke back together again. I'm a new man. That's completely horrifying. You know what? This has really been the best birthday ever. <laughs> All right, and with that, that is the end of Lollipop Chainsaw with I Came, I Saw, I Kicked Its Ass. All right, guys, so that is the end. That is the last cutscene we have left to see. All right, so thoughts about the game. Obviously, I love this game. I loved it back when I originally got it, when it came back um, all those years ago, back in 2012. Um, in fact, I pre-ordered this game too, just because I was that excited for it. Um, it's been roughly almost eight years since this game came out, and I really do hope they make a sequel for it, because the story was pretty fun. Um, the hack and slash elements of this um, horror slash comedy type of game really made it interesting for me. Because for the most part, I, I heavily avoid horror games because I'm just not about that life. But this game stood out enough for me to make me want to play it and put the time and effort into fully 100%ing it. Um, even now, the graphics still hold up, though in the cutscenes, um, it does tend to like drop a bit when it's showing like explosions and stuff because then it just pops in and out. But other than that, the game is pretty solid. I like all the combo moves for Juliet. I just have to memorize them so I can actually pull out the ones I want to do instead of just accidental ones I keep doing. Um, the trophies aren't too hard. The collectibles are really amazing. The music in this game is interesting. I do have to cut some of it off because I'm pretty sure like the main tracks are copyrighted and I don't want this to get flagged for copyright, so those will be getting taken out. Uh, so, very end of the day, um, this game is something I highly recommend to a lot of you guys because this is an interesting game that I enjoyed playing heavily. Um, back then, even now, too, all these years later. So you can get this for the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360. Um, like I said, it's like 8 years old, so it's not going to be that expensive now. So it's definitely something that's worth your time if you guys still have one in, uh, any of those old consoles and you want to give it a go um, after seeing me play this. But anyway, that is going to be it. So in the next episode, it's going to be a bonus episode where I show you guys all the um, concept art, the music, as well as the other costumes for Juliet. And at the end of this, I will also be showing you guys the bad ending of the game, because there are multiple endings. There's a good one you get by just completing it, and then after you finish it and play um, the Kill Billy boss fight again, you have the option to switch between just watch the good ending or the bad one. All right, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and watch the rest of the cast run back over to Juliet's home as we go through the other sections of the game and just see Santa, Santa Destroy, <laughs> San Romero in all of its 2D glory. You can also make all the characters move using the different buttons on the controller. Um, triangle X, Y, Triangle X, Y, Triangle <laughs> um, Square, as well as Circle, and then R1 for Cordelia. All right, so that's enough out of me, so I'll see you guys next time, so take care, everyone.
I'm home. Mama, your lover boy is back. Everyone, where were you? You were supposed to be home hours ago. Mom, I have someone I want you to meet. Mrs. Starling, hi, I'm Nick. Oh, you're Juliet's friend. Mom, what's wrong? Ju Juliet? <laughs> Will you kids just hold on two seconds? I'm trying to get Juliet's birthday cake ready. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm. Oh, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Juliet, I almost forgot. 